Good morning, guys. We are back in Mammoth. Tuesday morning here. Just getting uh, getting our day rolling here with everyone. Gonna go take a drive around, um, see what's transpired the last week or so while I was gone. And uh, I know we gotta go down to the, uh, the metal roofing project we're doing down uh, at the geothermal plant and a few other things today so uh, we're gonna go see kind of where everything stands and uh, see what we have coming up for the next couple weeks weather seems fairly light um, we do have that one storm coming in looks like it's gonna be uh, a couple inches every day Friday Saturday and then a little heavier on Sunday so I'm gonna stick around for that hopefully we can get some good footage for you guys Okay guys, we are back over here at the deck rebuild. You can see these guys built themselves a nice scaffolding for this side. That's great. So that's solid. And uh, shouldn't have a whole lot more time in getting these beams up now. Um, heck, we got enough lumber to build a house here with all this scaffolding, but uh, we'll break it all down, pull all the nails, save all the long stuff, use it for concrete forms. So you can see we got the, uh, guys got the eight by eight posts up, everything's up, all in place here. That's looking legit now, it's sitting on some big footings. Um, that's a little not clean, but we'll we'll fix that with some wood putty. Other than that, everything looks real clean. They're doing the last of the uh, cut in for the hangers here. You see, he's drilling the holes right now. Getting those holes all put through. Let's see, here's the pretty massive scaffolding we had to build here for this it's all braced up got our planks so what do you think how many more days well, today we want to have those beams yeah start getting posts. maybe then uh then uh whenever the bracket is ready yeah the last beam yeah and then uh, put the board back, clean a little here and there. That's it. Couple more days. Yeah, we could pull that down. Mm -hmm, yeah. Okay. Put the board back. We need to. I saw we got to clean up some of these around the around the bases. Yeah. 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 Making that nice and clean for a nice tight connection for the beams or for the brackets. All that looks, looks really good. So this one came together pretty good. And uh, it's definitely not going anywhere now. the hill and uh i think we'll work our way over to ormat see what's uh what the guys are doing over there all right so we're over here at the shop and so the one beam up there on forest trail job that we just left has a uh there's no posts and there's um they don't really make a bracket for that um that that's going to work for the application we're doing so we cut off a little cut off of the of the uh, beam here, and uh, is that a post cut off or a beam cut off? That's so a, that's, that's a, a post, post cut that's off. A post. 
So because it was just extra, but it's still eight inches. It's the same width. Yeah. So that's all that matters. Okay. Gotcha. So we're going to do something here where if you hold, hold that up where we had it. So that's kind of how that's going to come together right there. And then the other beam's already in. This bracket's already in on the corner there with the post already installed. So we're going to run a... We're going to add two more holes to that existing bracket up top that's already mounted. We're going to run a face plate over to here. Two more bolts here, which will give us a, a square saddle that goes across the bottom here. Yeah. And then it'll be... That should give us what we need, so Dan's gonna make us some custom brackets for that. Um, and uh, we'll check back in later today or tomorrow and see how those are looking. The guy should have the beams up by that time, so we'll be able to, uh, once the beams are all up, we'll take our custom brackets up there and see if we can fit them and make sure everything's gonna go together and uh, pretty much be done with the structural part of that job. Well, we popped in over here at Juniper just to look at the final touches over here. Looks like all the trim's back on. Looks pretty decent. Um, some of that trim got beat up a little. I think uh, we can probably paint it and it'll be fine. We just went back with all the existing stuff because that's what they wanted to do. But uh, for the most part, the stain looks good. The roofs are back intact and bolted down and a successful project. I'm going to throw in some footage from the other day when I was not here and uh, the boys were removing some snow. Get you guys some uh, snow, uh, snow footage, so check it out. It's snowing again. Heading out for work. Gotta push that snow. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, we got a little bit of snow today. Some places there's about a foot, eight inches, something like that. 14 degrees. Time to go plow. We are in the post office. It's about five in the morning. Woke up early in the morning. We've got about eight inches of snow, I would say. Look at that. Guys, making it look real nice. Loader should be here shortly. But we already got most of it done. Beautiful, beautiful morning. It's not too cold. It's great to be doing snow removal right now.
enough of it moved out of here. These uh, other guys can come in, clean up this little edges, stuff like that. Over in there where I couldn't get with the big bucket. Looking pretty good. On to the next one. Just pulled into Sierra Star Golf Course. Sun's up, plows down, boys. So here's a pretty cool project we did a few years ago. This is the existing, the original uh, porch they had here. We built this whole extension with the roof on it and uh, set these two posts with a giant grade beam underneath. We had to saw cut the asphalt out. We did all the finish trim, set all these beams. Not sure if we set those lights or not up there, but uh, this is right here on the Sierra Star Golf Course. Underneath all this powder right here is a, is a fairway. We also do the snow removal in the wintertime. This one's a pretty easy account to do. As you can see, I got it nice and spiffied up. This one, uh, it's a pretty easy one. So we're gonna get back at it, keep moving. Well, yeah, I gotta tighten up these, uh, these loader chains. They're, they got a little bit loose. Slapping a little bit too much. Got a little bit of play down here. Let's get these tightened up and head up the, head up the hill. Yep. Don't want those things slapping around. that windshield cleaned oh so I guess I was wrong about um, what all this wood was for apparently it's a timber sale area no firewood cutting allowed interesting I wonder what the backstory behind that is because it used to be this was the firewood area and now it's not so Wonder who they're selling all this to. Well, here we are back over at Lupin, and that's the chimney chase that we did. And uh, he wants to put some insulation, um, some special fire resistant insulating board in these bays. Problem is, they're all um, special size, they're not really consistently, it's not like a 16 on center type deal. And uh, you can see the uh, fireplace guy's got his thing done. So we, it's ready to cover. Well, the framing consistently is at 12 inches on center, but there's several doublers in here, as you can see. So, which creates... Um, these bays of they're not they're not consistently the same um, some of them are eight eight and a half nine and there's a few that are ten and a half and then up there those are oddball like it looks like about 14 and a half up there there's only one stud in the center up there so it's uh there's going to be a lot of cut to fit with the with that insulation Well, guys, we're getting a little flurry. Sadie and Butter relaxing on the couch. They want to go out, but the weather's moving in. A little storm's moving in. We'll see if it's enough to go out. Not sure just yet, but uh, let's go out and take a look. You can just see a little sprinkle of snow starting to come in. And that cloud cover, it's moving in pretty fast from the west. Let's see what it does, guys. It's calling for about four inches, so that could mean four inches, it could mean 10 inches, it could mean two inches. But it is calling 95% chance about four inches, so 
likely that we may end up going out tonight. We'll keep you posted. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed our Tuesday afternoon. Uh, actually, our Tuesday. Um, starting in the morning all the way through afternoon here in Mammoth. And uh, got a nice toasty fire going. We're watching that weather come in right now. And uh, looking forward to some snow on the ground so we can get the boys out there, get you guys some content. But uh, don't forget to go check out plowbrothers365.com. Got a lot of cool gear on there. As always, guys, thank you all for watching and supporting the channel. Let me know what you think in the comments, and we'll see you on the next one.